what hey, is hey. going on, everybody? Welcome to Talking with Demons. Bob, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. I'm uh, just admiring your background. Are Fantastic. You know, I decided to bust out the green screen. Yeah, and, and it's and working I'm, well. And, and it's working well. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Very impressive. I'm getting all technology advanced. Next thing you know, I'm going to have like AI running around the house doing all my laundry and dishes and cleaning up my underwear. No, well. That's a different uh, different word for the wife. <laughs> It'll give her time to relax, right? <laughs> we all know we put my britches once in a while and it takes a while to scrub that out. <laughs> <laughs> How is everybody doing tonight? Let's get to these comments. Let's say hello to everybody. Ooh, I got a lot, there's a lot of comments in there. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, we got Bob saying, we got Jay saying, hey, hello. Evening all, good good to see you, Jay. It's a good show, by hello, the way. Jace. Yeah, we have a good show. We got Ina, of course, Ina. Hey, hey, how you doing, girl? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We got hey. Barbara. How are you doing, Barbara? Good to see you. We got, what else is Jay saying? Had to heart, don't have a unicorn. <laughs> Who's asking for a unicorn? It's a special greeting for Ina because he doesn't like to give a heart out, so he gives her a unicorn, but he hasn't got a unicorn tonight either. Ina says she doesn't see anything? What is she talking Ina about? Ina never sees anything, so <laughs> that's, that's nothing. That's so <laughs> that's so yeah. We got Stacy no. Dolan from uh, Shockworthy Promotions here. Hi, uh, Stacy. How are you doing? We got bandanas bandanas hey cowboys <laughs> hey cowboys do the next one right hey. i want to see the proper wave proper wave of what cowboy king voodoo oh king voodoo's in the house that's right they are right here right? <laughs> king, king voodoo. what's up fellas <laughs> they got they're getting ready to they're getting ready to do some pre uh pre-order on their their ep that's coming up car and evil so look we go to their facebook page check that out to watch the video because uh, our buddy Jamie is just uh, now recovered. He's all he's all yeah. bed and now he's kind of sort of hobbling around. But it's good to see him. He's doing better, and they're getting ready to do shit. They're getting ready to bring some shit out. Mm -hmm. so, all she sees is green screen. Uh oh, is it not working? It, uh, it looks all right to me. Eh? It, it's I'm, working I'm, for me. I'm seeing it, uh -huh. but maybe, maybe I don't know. Does everybody else see a green screen? Do I, do I need to throw something up? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we got a good show tonight. As always, you know, yeah. as always, even even though sometimes they turn into shit shows, we have a good one tonight. Well, shit shows can be fun as well, especially if you can get your tongue rounded, which I nearly didn't there. She sees she sees this, <laughs> she sees green. So everybody's seeing green screen then. Yeah, I see a green screen, but I wonder if she means that she's actually seeing green. If you'd put a green T-shirt on, that would have been cool, wouldn't it? We'd have just had your head popping out the top of the gourd. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm disturbed. Now I'm going to take a. We're going to take a music break in a little while. I'll have to put something back up in the back here. I thought it, it was looks working. fine. It looks it's like working. it's working. It's definitely working. Anyway, I tried. <laughs> oh, never mind. She says, I can tell it's a green screen. Can't tell if it's a green screen. I just know you don't have an inner demon background. <laughs> I'm sure there's a message in there somewhere. I'm not sure I got it, but. I'm so fucking wrong. I'm so fucking wrong. <laughs> it, it's e it's Ina. Let's, pre let's pretend she's typing Greek. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 maybe, I, <laughs> maybe I need some more greens. Is that what she's saying? Maybe. Maybe. Who, who knows? We, could have, we, got a cool, we got some cool guests on tonight. So, um, Bob, you like to introduce them? Yeah, uh, because um, I would imagine it's one you struggle to get your tongue around. So it's uh, Ren Marabou and the Berserkers. How, how would I have a hard time getting my tongue around that? I'm well, you're not, you know, you have a hard time getting your uh, tongue around anything, don't you? Apart from a possum. Let me take this back. I want to retract this one second, guys, before we introduce you. What do you mean by me wrapping that tongue around it? <laughs> well, we know you're, you're partial to a possum, aren't you? 
goodness, guys, I am so sorry for Bob. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so sorry. And I'm so sorry that I was actually was thinking about wrapping it around something. <laughs> Yeah, and, and I bet it was a possum. You, you know the story of the possum. Everybody knows Sid's possum story. No. 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 He, he went to the shops and came back, and he, he tells us he got attacked. I think well, he nearly got molested by a possum. So, don't didn't you, Sid? Don't laugh. You don't know how it is walking in the city streets in the dark with no lights yeah. in an alley, and you're just kind of happy go lucky walking down the street with a bag in the alley with like snacks. Next thing you know, a big raccoon, I mean, possum the size of a German shepherd jumps out on me and starts hissing. You, you know what, guys, we, we, we aren't talking with demons. And before Christmas, we used to do this as a, like a quiz, right? And we did actually have a quiz, a question about possums at one point about the early, early American settlers who, and thought that uh, possums, they, they have a, what's called a, a bifurcated penis, so it, like the penis end splits into two. And apparently early settlers, American settlers, thought that that was used to impregnate the females through the nostrils because they marsupials, <laughs> and they thought that they impregnated them through the nostrils, and then they sneezed the young into the pouch, right? So Sid's coming back from the shop, this possum jumps out, and he starts to worry in case this possum's going to stick his dick up his nostrils, and he starts running <laughs> down the street, shaking his back. <laughs> That's it, isn't it, Sid? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. You, you were worried about a bit of possum dick up your nose. I didn't want to turn out like Arnold Schwarzenegger and Jr. and be pregnant by a possum. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't have a Danny DeVito to help me through this. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you guys anyway. going? Like? Yeah, we're doing good, man. We're doing good. We're here celebrating Terry's birthday. Happy having a birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. To you. Happy birthday. Having to a few you. bottles of meat. You know, as you do. We'd love to share it with you. I, oh, I if, if we'd have known it was a birthday celebration, we'd have had proper drinks, wouldn't we? Ah, sure. So you can come over next week. Have a few. <laughs> I would, we would definitely be slamming down some meat for sure. Yeah, I, got the, I got the horn, just got nothing yeah. to put in it. Yeah, yeah, dude. I will get it going one time. <laughs> one, day, one day. So you guys are good. Happy birthday, Terrence. Thank you very much. Happy Cheers. birthday to you, buddy. How old are you? Uh, yeah, 53. 53? Yes. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, it's the Irish I spent, I spent twelve, I spent twelve, thirteen years in Australia. Uh, I think that's why I think that. Damn, oh, that's I, I mean, I, I, although you're far away, you don't look like you're fifty-three years old. Not even, not even in the videos and shit that I've seen. I'm fifty-three. What did no, you like? Uh, did you miss like twenty years of your life in some sort of? Yeah. Yeah. No, I look after myself. I go to the gym. Yeah. And, you know, I've got a. Uh. Got to keep my core strong for the drum kit. So I'm at, I'm at the gym three mornings a week. So, yeah. I was going to say, that must be a workout on the drums anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling good tonight, though. I'm not the old man anymore tonight. So. Not tonight. Not tonight. I'm, I'm always the old man. <laughs> but he puts us to shame. Aaron is like. <laughs> Are you the oldest one in the band, Terrence? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you, you get you get the, the senior respect there, right? Everybody's got to respect you, don't they, Terrence? Yeah, I do. Yeah, it's actually true. They do respect me. Yes, yeah. it's kind of nice. I've got this sort of <laughs> seniority. I've got this kind of old man wisdom. I'm like that. True. Or else we get like a, a, a stick in the back of the head with like a little hatchet on the end of it. He has these little sticks. They're like little Viking sticks with hatchets. <laughs> no messing like <laughs> So I've just got to admire that because I'm really enjoying it when Sid has a drink and you see the sort of green screen effect go across the ball. You know? Yeah, I thought we were seeing a ghost for a second. Yeah, put it in the middle of your face, Sid. <laughs> no, it, loses, it, it, it still stays a little bit, doesn't it? It does still stay a little bit. Truth. Look, Bob, we have our we have our biggest fan from YouTube on tonight. Hey. We got we got love <laughs> we got loveface.xyz online strips and without clothing. 
And <laughs> we, got, we got some wet pussy here tonight, folks. You guys, uh, <laughs> go check them out after the show. <laughs> I love it. Oh, love it. Love face. Uh, uh, do you think that's the possum's love face? They're hot. They're hot. They're hot. Coming from the nostril, guys. Yeah, that's it. Nose anymore. I don't know that. anymore. <laughs> so tell everybody, uh, let's talk a little bit about the band instead oh. of possums and fucking me in my nose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not fun either. It's like they're they're mad fucking my nostrils, like angry fucking them. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about a little bit about the band. Tell everybody right. where you're from, how long you guys been together. Go right ahead. It's all you. Yeah. So we're Ren Marabou. That's me, Ren Marabou and the Berserkers. And uh, yeah, where are we from, boys? We're not from Donegal, but we're based in Donegal. And we've kind of uh, made it our home. You know, it's such a cool place. It kind of sucks you in. And once you're in, you don't want to leave. It's just a magical land, <laughs> full of inspiration, the mountains and sheep and the whole lot. <laughs> sheep always <laughs> bring me up. We're trying to show a music video I'm running from sheep. <laughs> sheep is always bringing me up. <laughs> inspiration yeah. every yeah. time I get up. Okay. I wouldn't be a very good Ireland pagan, would I? <sighs> I would taint. I would taint all. I would taint all the farmlands animals. <laughs> I, I'm starting to think about new short hair uh, now. Uh, you know, <laughs> animals see that and shout. <laughs> I'm awful. I'm awful. I'm not fine one. <laughs> yeah, That's why there's a goat one. on the dog, right? <laughs> yeah, he started with dinosaurs, you know. He's been gone for a while. <laughs> I just decided to start looking scary all the same because his dinosaur background just wasn't working. <laughs> True fact. True. Oh, so Ireland, Ireland. So yeah, there's, that, that country is absolutely fucking beautiful there. And I can see where you, you, you draw all your inspiration. The videos, I love the backgrounds, a lot of your your, your recent videos. You guys are out there in the, in the mountains and, and doing your guys' thing. Explain it to everybody a little bit about your type of music. What that you guys are playing? Yeah, so I suppose what it, it's like a contemporary version of the genre. You know, Viking metal and pagan rock is usually all in your face. You know, angry Viking men talking about fighting and stuff. But we just wanted to bring more of a, a folk element and a bit more of a contemporary vibe. Just make it a little different, you know, like uh, like we are a little different, us three. <laughs> so well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing because yeah. I, I like Armand Oboth and all those bands like that. I like them, but I think what you guys are doing is definitely different from that. Yeah. Yeah, you we definitely – we like to kind of like step away just because all them boys are amazing. And they're doing a great job, and we just wanted to do our little piece on it, but a little bit different. You know, like uh, you're adding elements to it that's interesting. With, I mean, when you listen to one of your some like some of your new songs, you start off with the tribal drums, and the next thing you know, you're, here comes the crunching guitar, and it's not just it's not it's what's cool is like the goddess of the underworld is like one of my favorite songs. I lo I love what you guys done with that song. So it's 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 this, it's really unique how you guys are going approaching it because I'm a big fan of pagan folk myself, and of course I'm a big fan of metal on it, and seeing those two worlds. Co coincide and live together was it was really for me exciting to see yeah we love it we just love throwing all instruments in isn't it? like yeah. any any instrument <laughs> like, like literally i'm sitting here with a banjo and i'm, I'm let me show you I, I just I just broke the ukulele, but there's the man. I always break something in an interview but yeah there's just we just love throwing all instruments don't we yeah well you're bringing you're bringing in these uh these old classic instruments that were played during this time and yeah. it adds that that nice little touch to it we just need to get a few more quid into the key and we can um sorry cast thank you <laughs> like my stage hand <laughs> um yeah like the likes of what is it uh the, what's that? Gordy, Gordy. 
if we can get you know anybody that, if there's anybody watching this that has a hurdy gurdy or any <laughs> crazy instrument please hit us up because we love all that but a hurdy gurdy i don't know if you know it boys but it's like this a, a spaceship type instrument with like a wheel yep and it's yep and it's got keys underneath it you got yeah, it it. yeah. they're amazing i absolutely love them um but they're like six grand piece. they're fucking super expensive <laughs> the sound, the sound that comes from those instruments are absolutely mesmerizing. Aren't they? Oh, magical. Like, I mean, all you need is that, essentially. You know, you get away with just playing that and singing, and it sounds like a whole band. It's just beautiful. <laughs> like, so when I get one, these boys are, you know, <laughs> oh, dead after this. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> and all of a sudden, all in all, and all, and all, and all in one sentence, it become. The berserkers. <laughs> Brand the dead man and the berserkers. <laughs> but so, yeah, no. Go ahead. No, no, go, go ahead. I was just gonna say we love instrumentation. We just sit here chatting about what else can you throw into the fray, you know, and there's no limit to it. If it's if it's old like I don't know, say um Fenrir, one of the tracks you were saying with the tribal stuff, we were just in here hitting everything, hitting anything we could to just make it sound there's even, there's even a set of spoons in there. There is. <laughs> yeah. My, my mother told me I spoons, lads. Yeah. I just love, I love that. I love, the, I love listening to those, that, that, that music, the guitars and all that, all that stuff. I just love listening. I can listen to it just by itself. I don't have to listen to anything else. Just listening to like that fucking, what's it called again? The spins? The hardy guard, yeah. yeah. I can listen to that all fucking day long and yeah. I don't have to listen to anything else. Yeah, that's it. But the one, the, one, the thing about being here at Donnie Hall, we walk down Main Street tonight. Um, you, you'll hear mandolin, banjo, acoustic guitar. You know, you'll hear all these old instruments, Yulean pipes, and that that influence is still very, very much here. You know, in rural Ireland, and that's that's Ren's able to bring all that influence into the Viking side, which kind of softens the sound of the songs that he's writing, and I think it makes them a little bit more accessible in, in, in a lot of cases. Uh, that's fair. I, I, that's fair to say. You're right, Terrence. You're right. You're totally right. Yes, I know. He's. Ma- <laughs> <laughs> what he's only saying that because it's going to After the interview, he's going to give me a slap. You're talking <laughs> shit, man. I will just. I'll, now, what's the? Uh, what's your? What's your name on the right? Oh, your left, Ren. What's? What's his name? This is Cass. Cass. Casanova. Why haven't you slapped him yet? Why haven't you yes, slapped him? Yet? Yeah, I know he will. Oh no, he's got slab hands like big bass, baseman hands. Yeah, they get slab hands, like, yeah. I only act in tough in front of you, is all. <laughs> you know what we should do, guys? Yeah, we should play one of you guys' videos. All right, that's yeah, cool. I, I picked, I picked the three. I took the three that you sent me, the individual YouTube links. So I got those to play, and I think we should start off with Sigurd and the Dragon Slayer. Nice. That's Great name, isn't it? it, it, it it's yeah. a good song too. It's a really good song too. So yeah, I played it on my show a few weeks ago, and I, I really like this one. Well, to be fair, I, I haven't heard a song yet that I haven't liked. Mm. To be fair, and, that, and that's 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 a rough for me. There's, I, I've not heard anything that sounds like I'm just putting something out to put something out to that get attention or bring attention to the band. They're actually putting out really quality shit. But yeah, I mean, I, mean I, I I enjoyed that one. I played that one, and I haven't heard any others, so I'm really excited about the show because we get that many uh, tunes come into us that sometimes, I mean, my, most of the time, my show can be made up with new stuff constantly because you don't get a chance to go back and repeat stuff because you get that many submissions. So it's nice to know that I'm going to have another couple of tracks to listen to tonight. Every one of these that he sent me, I got Prophecy, and I got axe in the axe in my back, and then we're going to be playing Sigurd and the Dragon Slayer. And every one of these fucking songs are great. Ah, uh, thanks. Great. I'll be getting an axe in my back later. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're, we're, you guys are watching Talking with Demons. You're hanging out with myself, Bob, and we're hanging out with Ren and the Berserkers, and we're getting ready to play Sigurd and the Dragon Slayer. We'll be right back, everybody. Sweet.
Nice. That wasn't bad. <laughs> no, that, that was tasty. <laughs> I, like I, I like that. That, that was really good. I, I'm kind of curious, guys. Do you, do you actually perform these live? Well, we were actually just discussing how we were listening to that there. This is brand new, this one. Um, so we it, we were actually rehearsing just before this. So um, we were discussing, yeah, we're going to throw this into the set for definitely. It will be in mm. soon. Because uh, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm listening to to that bit, and there's, uh, there's certainly in the guitar bits that, that's that's going on there. I'm thinking, whoa, oh, a three piece. That's going to be hard to uh, to get that out live. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. You see, when we sit here and we're writing, it's just like, oh, we'll put another lead guitar in there and make it sound nice. You know, um, originally we did have four members, but um, our good friend Damon, he couldn't. Uh, commit the time because he's a very busy man um but so we had this whole idea of the two guitars and we were going to bring in an extra one but then we just i don't know i always played in a three-piece band and i just love the energy and the vibe of three piece springs so if there's something missing from you know uh, like a lead or something we'll make up with it for energy or you know dynamically we'll mess around with the bass and the guitar you know so We'll, we'll make well, to, to be honest, I don't think it, ma it matters when you come to, to playing live to having a different recording because it means that people get something different out of the, the two. You're not just going and listening to something that you could put on CD and see the same the same uh, music. So yeah, that's it. I mean, play a lot heavier almost, especially vocally. Yeah, well, when I when I, like Cass has his like distorted bass the whole time, it's so fat, it's lovely. And and Terence always adds extra flams and extra groovy bits. And I, I, I can never, you know what? I've been told people have been like, oh, you're like Aretha Franklin, man. You never do the same thing twice. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't play the same solo twice. I can't sing the same the lyrical line the same. I don't know what it is. I always just I get caught up in the moment. <laughs> and then, um, and every everything well, that would make sense though. You get caught up in a moment, and you just you, you're feeling something different at the time. I I noticed when I uh, when I was doing a little bit of homework, I do it once in a while. That you had you you started a YouTube page a while back, right? And you I did. you was doing things on your own, creating music on your own, and doing some covers. I noticed as well. So what what point in, in during this whole YouTube journey that you decided you're going to start bringing bringing in a band in the mix? Yeah, it was really interesting because I spent most of my life, um, I was in a band called Kerouac and um, Marabou. And then just before lockdown, I was in a band with a lot of my good friends called uh, Corrales. And we were, we were, you know, doing quite well. And then COVID hit. So we were on complete lockdown. And all my band's members were in Dublin, which is four hours away from, from here. And we just couldn't, we were stuck in our town. So um, I started working on solo stuff and do more of the YouTube channel and stuff. And uh, yeah, I ha I met these guys, the two of these boys at a, at a, at a gig here at Letterkenny. They were both playing in other bands. And I went for a beer and I was standing there watching. I was like, I like that guy's drumming, okay? <laughs> and I was like, I like that guy's bass playing. So I went up to them after the show and I was like, dude, I need you to play with me. You know, and then, and then lockdown happened. So it was six months later and I was like, Right, boys. Do you remember that? Do you remember me, the guy from the bar? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, we saw 
we saw each other once two years ago with this this charity gig. It was uh, it was a gig that my wife organised for uh, bushfires in Australia two years ago. Bushfires really bad, and Ren was in the audience. Cass was step was playing for another bass player who couldn't make it in another band, and I was there with my previous band. And we met him met him that night, and I didn't see him again for a year and a half. And I, I got a text a year and a half later saying. Do you want to play in my band? <laughs> How do you remember me? I've been stalking you for the last few years. <laughs> uh, uh, I know. Uh, so, so I was like, I nearly dropped my phone. I said, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, because during COVID, funny enough, that I, I started doing, getting a bit of traction, you know, with the solo stuff. I don't know why. It just it just, it just, just kind of hit the right, uh, I don't know, trail, I suppose. And um, when, I, when I came out to, of restrictions, I was like, right, I need a band. Like, I need to get this going. And it was at, like a Thursday. I remember it being a Thursday morning. And I texted two boys and, well, Damien as well. And the three boys on the same day were like, yep. And then I said, right, lads, next week we go shoot a video. <laughs> 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 no rehearsals, just straight yeah, into yeah. Yeah. No pressure. No pressure, fellas. No pressure. We're going to shoot a video. Yeah, yeah, exactly. so, no prophecy. worries. <laughs> prophecy of the spirit, one of the videos is actually prophecy. Uh, that was the first time I had met Damien, the guitarist, and, the, and uh, the first time we actually kind of like stood together with instruments, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, and, and there was no like jumping in at the deep end, isn't it? But we had a, it was a friend, and friend's partner at Cassidy. But we had a huge audience, there were about 100 sheep and goats yeah. on the hill around us. <laughs> <laughs> They were all watching. Uh, it was, do you know what? Because we hadn't saw any live music in, in, in months. Like, so Terence was playing his bit while um, my my shield maiden Kathleen was recording it, and myself and the other two guys were standing there watching, it, and it felt like a, a, a show. We were like, "Yeah!" It's been the minute he finished his drum parts, we were like, "Oh my god, live music! This is amazing!" <laughs> <laughs> so that's you get the up, uh, in the background, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the the video I had, which video was that for? I forget. Uh, yeah, prophecy, oh. prophecy of the series. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so you're telling me that that was the first time you guys actually was in <laughs> yeah. together. Play. I mean. Yeah, you, you guys sold it because I was a bitch. You guys, you've been playing that whole <laughs> uh, first time. Yeah. First time. It's the acting skills, and and I got us lost on the way there. I yeah. I I've been to this building before. There, there's a mountain near here. It's beautiful. Um, it's called Muckish, and at the foot of Muckish, there's this whole building. It's called the Shepherd's Hut, but I think it's an old fortified. Thing. I think it's an old military thing because the walls are about a meter thick. It has the uh, bow and arrow slots for, for for bow and arrows and things like that. You know, it's a military place, but it's 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 used for sheep now. Oh, I was amazing. I turned on swords. Yeah. And the boys are like, "All right, that's how it's going down." <laughs> <laughs> next thing you know, next thing you know, in the background, you got a bunch of people back here larping. Yeah. So I, said, I looked. I looked at Cassie. We don't make this work today. <laughs> what is it? Blood, blood sacrifice? Yeah. There was actually an area you were telling me, sir. They, they left the sheep, dead sheep. Yeah, yeah. So it was quite paganish, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let me ask you guys this. Yeah. Because when I watched the video, it looked like Terrence was actually, he's likely actually played that song several, several times. Yeah. But, yeah, you, guys, yeah. but you never did it together. Yeah, so that the boys had the song all right, but um, so it was kind of miming in a way. But they they done they were so good that they nailed it. It was perfect. They, they, you know? they, I, it, it sold for me. I'm like, damn, <laughs> yeah. that's how good I mean, they are. Because like, there's there's zoom shots of where Terrence. Is okay, so I can get I can get like you getting away with doing some miming and lip, lip syncing and missing. I can get that he, the bass player get away with it too, but. He was hitting yeah. every fucking point like like he, like it was nobody's business. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's when I knew straight away. I was like, right, these I made the right choice. These are the boys. <laughs> you know, well, I think I think I played it what, three or four times. Yeah, well, yeah. You had the whole fucking thing mastered then in your head, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. No, I, like when I like I'm a, I'm a bit OCD like that. You know, when I've got to learn something, I learn it. I learned everything. I even, I learned the guitar parts and I learned the bass because I play guitar as well. I learned everything like, you know, that, that I have to. 
they, they know the songs better than I do. <laughs> That's crazy. I know, I don't, yeah, like, Cass is always looking at me as if to say, man, you're, you're playing it wrong. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, I don't, yeah, no, it's great. It's a, it's a good, t it's, that's a good rhythm section behind me, keep me straight. <laughs> Well, I mean, Terrence, bravo to you, man, because you sold it. You could have got away with some kind of talent show on that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, what I mean, first, I'm still beside myself a bit because that was the first time you guys actually sat together, and you guys looked like you guys been doing it for fucking forever. <laughs> yeah, it's brilliant. Like I, think, I think that's why the three of us are still here, you know, because it's, it's only been we've only been together for eight months. Eight um, months? Yeah, we, we, we shot that last June, last June, July. Um, and then we started, after we did the video, we started rehearsing here. Um, mm. So it's been a relatively short time. But Damn, you're making good. waves then, aren't you? I mean, you yeah. guys are really fucking making waves in eight months. Yeah. Yeah, we want to. We want to do this. You know, I love the stuff that Ren, Ren writes. Um, I, think the, I think the new album, Heels of Ruin, is his strongest material yet. I've seen a, I've seen a progression in Ren's writing over the last year, and Sigurd, uh, kin, you know the, the three Norns, Kinsmen Die, all the stuff that's coming on the new album. They're all killer songs, and I, you know, I, I just can't wait to play them. So he's he's yeah. he progressed, you know, definitely. <laughs> and like the death song, the death song is just amazing. I love it. I absolutely love it. Well, as I say, I've only actually heard sing it myself so far. Uh, but it, as I said, it's a catchy thing. I mean, I've played guitar for 35, 36 years. And if you're a guitar player, you probably know that when you play that long, there'll, there'll be times when you'll put it down, you'll not touch it for months if you're not in a, in a band. And you can go sort of like six months. But listening to sing it, there's a little bit in there, sounds like a bit of tapping and stuff like that that's going on. And it, it's got one of those things in it where you think, oh, that's tasty. I, I, I wonder if I can find that on the guitar and work it out. And it's that, it's that type of tune that makes you pick it back up, and, uh, pick the guitar back up. And it inspires you and it leads you on to doing something new in your, in your own music. Ah, uh, dude, that's nice. I love that song, nice. Yeah. That's, the, that's the best thing. That's all my life is, is inspiration from mm. from other other sources. You know, I'm constantly being inspired. Like, these boys inspire me constantly. And, you know, all I do really is sit in this. This is our little studio headquarters place. And these speakers either side of the screen here are just pumping music, inspiring me the whole time. And it's nice to hear somebody else feeling that off our stuff. That's really cool. It, it does. It, it, it certainly does. It, it, it's it's a tasty piece of guitar, and I'm I was sitting there just watching it, then thinking, "Oh, I'd love to pick the guitar up and try and work out where those bits are." And, and and that's what you want out of a tune. So. I think I got introduced to you guys' music through a Facebook ad. I think that you guys put out or something. Yeah, right. I think. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it could have been uh, one of the PR companies or something we work with but I, I i when i when i first put that put a tune on and, and played it i was like this is fucking amazing now in, in in the pagan community there's there's a far left and a far right you know you got the pagan folk music you got the bands like armand armoth right and mm -hmm. it's you don't have that in between there's no in between but either you have the pagan folk or you have the thrash armand armoth and I think you guys have found a, a pocket that really is needed in the community because it's it, you're, you're getting a message across. You're talking about your beliefs and your faith. You're talking about paganism, which I'm a big supporter of. I'm a pagan myself. And you're, find, you're finding a, a common ground to be able to uh, ignite the interest of the mainstream media or audience and yet still keeping true to the pagan side of things as well. And I think it's an absolutely fucking amazing thing. Ah, thanks, man. I mean, that's that's amazing. Jesus, that's I, I love talking to you boys. This, <laughs> this is so cool. But, but I'm, I'm not getting distracted here from you guys. I'm, uh, I'm yeah. being rude. Even I'm looking at my phone because I noticed there that, that uh, Gary, who's in the chat, 
is saying, can we post a link through for you? Which, when when we play the show out, it goes to a number of different feeds, and, and I tend to sit there posting the links for the bands into the different feeds as I go through. And I haven't got, I haven't found where Gary's at at the moment, so I'm trying to find where he's at so I can send him a link for the for the band. So well, they won't be able to click on the link until after the show anyway. Yeah. yeah. So once the show's over with, all the links that, that you put up, they'll, they'll actually be activated and they can click right on them. So that's it. See, and plus, I've, I've shared you guys' stuff. You guys are you're, you're in here doing a radio show uh, on our on our radio station, which I absolutely love, the chemistry that you and Corbin have together on that. That's, I love that you guys are touching about certain bands and certain albums and how they, what your thoughts on it. I think it's a really good, brilliant show. I mean, you're, you guys are you're, you're a man of many talents. I'll give you that. Ah, uh, thank you for it. Well, it's, yeah. Well, he's, he's got the gift of the guy. He's a he's a, he's a Dubliner, you know. He's, <laughs> it's a, it, it could be a good thing, it could be a bad thing, but I think that's what makes us uh, a good unit here. Because I'm I'm a dub. I'm, I'm not a, I'm not really a deep rooted dub. My my bloodline isn't there, but we won't get to that. But I was raised there. And then Terence is a dairy man, and then Cass is from uh, Ross Common. So we've got this nice little like dynamic of of different folk. Brought together, it's like it's like a little holy triangle, Dublin. Are all of you guys pagans? Yeah, well, the boys are getting into it now. We <laughs> listen to me all the time. <laughs> uh, well, uh, there's the hammer. I, I, I've got the hammer on. Look, I, I, I haven't been religious. Like, I grew up in Northern Ireland, uh, just I say here <clears throat> in the 70s, so that that was quite an eye opener. So, I lost my religion at a very early age. So. I haven't had religion for a long time, and I have my own beliefs, but um, I totally understand what Ren is 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 going through. To understand his vision, and I totally support it. You know, I think it's a beautiful thing. I think that's beautiful as you say that. There's your support because people like Ren are very important in the pagan community because yeah. they're they're doing things to bring uh, to bring paganism to a forefront to, to show that there's. Mm -hmm. The stories you hear and the stories that you that you, you talk the people say are not necessarily the truth. Yeah, and, that's and, it. and being pagan and proud of it, I think is amazing too. Bravo to you guys for that. Bravo to you, Ren, and bravo to you guys as well. Ah, uh, thank you, thank the you. boys. Yeah. Nah, they're great. They they love they love uh, listening to the stories that I bring to the table and. They bring their own interest. Yeah, and their own. Um, kind of it's hard points. not to like the stories, right? Yeah. To be fair, it's hard yeah. not to like them. You know what, brother? You're wearing Fenrir there, and I got this lovely pick. I don't know if I can get it on the camera. The Fenrir pick. Oh, it nice. Was, yeah, it was uh. sent, it was Iron Age uh, guitar pick sent me that yesterday, and uh, I have my signature Berserker pick. I don't nice. Know so uh, yeah, no, I saw your Fenrir straight away. I was like, "That's sweet, bro." <laughs> and I got, I got, I got Thor's hammer and stuff like that. I'm always on my on my wrist. So yeah, yeah, I, I, nice I've one. been I've been pagan for 25 years or plus. That's actually where I, I kind of start. Everything started for me was I started doing uh, shows in the pagan community, <laughs> and then I I stopped for a little bit and I was like, well, I'm going to come back and I want to do something a little bit different. But I wanted to. Uh, bring two worlds together. I wanted to bring paganism and music and mainstream music people together. And, and I've, we've, we've done that. We've been pretty successful. That I think that's why I like you so much is that you're able, you're, you're doing the same thing, just in a different way. You're just making the music to bring those two worlds together. Yeah. And it's, it's a lovely community as well, isn't it, brother? It really is like, um, I, I was doing okay in music um, until I hit our, I think it was three albums ago, Wayfinder. That was the first um that was trying to be a little bit more monomaric a bit more you know tuned lower just straight up rocking screaming about you know freaking me and whatever but um that's when people started really taking notice because i realized that there was this lovely big community you know it was something i wanted to do for a long time but i wasn't wasn't sure whether i should or and i just felt like you know this was the call and let's do it and geez, I swear, I talk all the time about, we call our uh, supporters the heathen tribe. They're the coolest <laughs> Funny, tribe. I, I do too. I do yeah. too. Yeah, yeah I, I noticed that for <laughs> yeah. And they're just amazing people. They are. So supportive. Yeah. And, and positive. Yeah. You know, that's really important. You don't always, we always get that with followers. You, the positivity is, it's unreal. But it, go, but it goes back to what you were saying about, about the stories. We, we did a small festival 
gig down in Roscommon last August, and on the drive home, Ren was 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 really good. He he didn't have any beers. He drove us home to Donegal, and he told me this on the on the way back. He told me the story of Fenrir on the way back. And uh, I've always had rescue dogs, and I love animals, but dogs are my thing. And when he told me the story of Fenrir, I thought I've got to find out more about this. So I went to the local library. I got the poetic edda and. I, whatever I could find. And I spent the last two months reading all about Norse mythology. But that story with Fenrir made me really sad. It was really moving. It's a really moving story. And those stories are they're universal within cultures. And, you know, it's the stories that, you know, draw people in, you know. They're universal. That's it. That's why his his name is Tear, because he's like the Tear in that story of, you know, Tear and Fenrir losing his hand. And I, it's just, you know, Perfect. We have an interesting question for you guys. Here, one of the uh, people that are watching here has a question for you guys. Paula Andre uh, Andrea Diaz Galvez asks, "Do you guys believe in magic?" Well, I, I, I don't know about the boys. I'm sure they do, but I definitely do. I mean, if like I'm, I'm an Odin fan number one, and uh, Odin is the king of magic. If you want to put it that way. <laughs> um the seer the seer magic uh you know i truly believe all that yeah so for me it's a it's a it's a hell yeah <laughs> it's a hard yes it's a hard yes, yes. <laughs> yeah Let, let's play another video by you guys what do you think nice nice Lovely. what's do, what's do we've been talking about it we've been talking about it this this whole segment <laughs> let's, let's play let's play prophecy of the seer shall we it's very cool guys you everybody thank you for tuning in you guys are watching talking with demons of course you know me and you know bob we're hanging out with Ren and the berserkers and we're getting ready to play you prophecy of the seer enjoy
I absolutely nice. fucking love that song. <laughs> <laughs> it gives me chills when I listen to it, man. It's just not what you're used to hearing in the pagan community. It's something different, something unique, something original. I absolutely fucking love your voice, Ren. Something about your tone of your voice just makes my nipples hard. Ah. Well, I'm glad I can help those nipples. <laughs> it just it has that epic quality, doesn't it? When you listen to it, it's like fuck, man. It's like I want more. It's like you're you're left like going, okay. I just got through sucking on Mama's tit, and yet her tit just ran out, and I want more. You, you know what? If, if we were playing more songs tonight, I'd, I'd end up with one leg there uh, thinner than the other because I'm, I'm sitting here with bloody foot tapping away, you know. And I'm thinking, Christ, I've got one, I've got one healthy leg and one fat leg. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a, a fucking kick-ass song. I, I love. I, 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 like I said, I don't think there's a fucking single song that I don't like. And that's and he, he's, he's a monster. He's he spent the last two years in this room writing album after album, and I mean it, it, it's astonishing the stuff that he's he's done in the last two years. You know, the last last four albums are amazing, and it's only taken him a year. It's just crazy, you know. Here's a nice comment for you guys. Here we go. Hang on. Sorry, wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, Raven says, what a great message you guys are sending to the pagan community. I absolutely 1000% agree with that statement right there in that comment. You guys are, you guys are, you guys don't realize it. Maybe you don't, maybe you do. I don't know. But you guys are changing the face of what pagan, this, of, of the pagan community. Oh, it's, That's astonishing. <laughs> it is. Uh, it's unreal. I don't, I don't think we realize it. You guys are carving your own, you're paving your own trail right in the smack dab. You guys are a breath of fresh air. I have to say you guys are a breath of fresh air because it's like, for me, it's like heaven because I get the best of both worlds. I get the pagan folk taste and then I get the metal taste, which that's my passions. I love folk and I love metal. You guys are able to combine those two together and create some really magical music. Ah, uh, bro. <laughs> It was a fluke, you know. <laughs> it's been a four album fluke. Yeah, yeah. It took a while. But I tell you, do you know what? It, we were talking about Donegal out here. Um, I, I was, you know, playing all around Europe in a band called Kerouac. And then after a Marabou, and that's where the whole name comes into it. But we were like post hardcore, kind of rocking, detuned, and just riffing out. And, you know, I always wanted to take the music to another place. But that's where I felt comfortable because that's where I developed my my writing. And when I moved out here, like Terence said, there's like everywhere you go out here, there's traditional instruments. Um, it's very big, but it's in a kind of more country kind of element. And just it was my it was actually my my shield maiden Kathleen who said, you know, why don't you bring that into it? You know. And Thank you, I, Kathleen. Thank yes. you. A round yeah, of applause yeah. for Kathleen here. She she <laughs> saved me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She she comes up all the best ideas. She filmed that video that we just showed as well, and very talented lady. Um, she's a my lucky uh, man. a lucky man to have uh, yeah, have a lady behind yeah. your back like that. Yeah. You really are because you need you need to continue listening to your shield maiden. Yes, yes. <laughs> and the boys have have two great women too. So we we're like this lovely little family. We all uh, constantly talk and talk about the music and what's good and come up with ideas and. Cool, like this. There's six heads, six good heads in this. Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. Yeah, right. yeah, you, got a great, you got a great big community now that's going to be just eating you guys up. You, you, what you've turned into a small, close knit community like a family like you have now. Be prepared, guys. You got you guys are going to be just loved by everybody in the pagan community. I I, I just feel it. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. Dan here <laughs> in the comments here says. Love that fucking music. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ina says, just she just applauds you guys. She's speechless. That's rare. That's rare. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Love Thank you so much. Yeah, ah, oh, lads, it's brilliant. Like, Thank you. You, oh, guys have, you guys have my full support. Whatever the fuck you guys do, you guys have my full support. I, ever since I met you and had a conversation with you, I've 
I've been a fan of what you, and I've told you that from the get go. I'm a fan yeah. of what you guys are doing. If there's any way I can support that, and I, I will, you know what I mean? Just like with the podcast, it's like I, I heard it. I was like, you know what? I, I want to, I want to do whatever I can to be part of what you guys are doing. Yeah, and I really appreciate that, brother, because I, I love. We we're always talk, chatting about um, inner demon and everything that you guys do. Um, bad bones, the whole lot. It's just brilliant. It's really cool. It's again, it's part of that lovely community, and it's fantastic. We really appreciate you bringing us in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to be fair, me and Bob has worked a, what a solid year on building this up, right? It's a year. Yeah, it's been going long to that. Yeah, and we're not we're we're not just there's there's pagans that watch our show. There's people there's witches and pagans that are watching right now, leaving comments in here. Not only are we a part of, 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 a, of a community of pagans, but we also have a community that we've built in the mainstream music industry, too, or the underground music industry as well. And we've, we've formed a lot of bonds. And I, for me, it's always been, I've always wanted to, it's always been my firm belief that I wanted to be able to mix the two worlds together and, and, we, and, there, and show everybody that we're no different than anybody else. We just have a different way of, a belief system what everybody else. It doesn't make us different. We just believe in something different. And the, you always have that stigma, and I wanted to take away that stigma. I tell you what, without Bob being by my side helping me through certain situations, because I, I, I have my struggles as well too, you know. Because doing this, you, you know, you get discouraged or you, you feel let down, and then you have I have a good friend like you, like, like I do with Bob. He's always an ear for me. Let me vent. Let me work through things, and let me be. He lets me, gives me the freedom to be creative, because it, without being creative, like what you guys are doing with your music. We have to find ways to break through those walls, right? Yeah. No, you you, you did right, Sid. I am pretty awesome. I tell you, tell you what I need to know, Cat. What's on your T-shirt? Oh yeah. You watch Proud Ted. Zoom in, Sid. Zoom in. All right, hang on one second. Hang on. So there's a, an Irish TV show called Father Ted. <laughs> <laughs> Grand their whistle. Grand theft whistle. Oh, Grand theft. Sorry, I can't read. <laughs> Want too many meats? Uh, maybe. Oh, oh, yeah. Or not enough. Yeah. The more the more you drink, the more the more better you're starting to read. You start. <laughs> Well, this is what I always, I, I have this little uh, ceremony almost when I write. I sit here with my notepad, my Ren Marabou and the Berserker notepad. He's <laughs> 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 he's always got something to flow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Buy the new t-shirts now. Um, we, uh, yeah, so I sit there with a bottle of mead and let the gods speak, you know, let them guide me and stuff, you know, so it is quite a spiritual uh, kind of thing when I write too. I, I love that. I love that you said it's a ritual because a lot of people don't know this. I, I, don't, I don't really, I've never really shared this with Bob either as well, but every time I do something, like if I'm making a video, I, I sometimes I create videos and I, I use people's songs and I just create something out of it. Or when I'm, or I, if I'm just putting together something, I, there's, there's, there's a five, 10 minute period where I, I just sit there and I, I clear my mind and I was like, all right, what is it? That you want me? To, what, what message do you want me to give? Yeah. And then it just comes to me, but I spend I spend 10, 15, sometimes fifteen minutes just meditating, opening up the channels so, so I can hear what's what the message is going to be. And I, I, so I like that you said it's like a ritual. Do you sit there? Well, maybe a little bit different than what I do. You know, you're drinking meat and letting things come to you. But it's the it's the ritual part of it. It's your sacred time and your sacred space. That's it, brother. I mean, I sit here and you can, uh, beside the boys there, I have a, an altar, and it's um, and I don't think I've ever shared this either. It's an altar with all my um, Norse uh, ritual stuff, you know, where like I have my my offerings to the gods and my candles. I love, I love you, Ren. I yeah. love you. Uh, <laughs> thank you, brother. Of course, right, right here next to me, right here next to me, literally, uh, I have a, a Y, sh a L shaped desk here, right? Yeah. In front of me is my computer. To the right of me is another computer that runs the radio station, and then to my left of me is my altar. No way, but <laughs> nice. nice, happy days. So we got a lot more coming than what we think, don't we? Yes, brother. Ah, oh, yeah, no doubt. And it's I, mean, I got, I got an eight-pound, really, literally, <laughs> an eight-pound crystal ball. 
Nice. Nice. Blue is right next to me. That's it, brother. The missus has one of them in, in the sitting room. Ah, oh, I, I, I think I'm like your biggest fan. Ah, uh, <laughs> but is it like you said, like when it's got these little ultra gear? We 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 come here for rehearsals, and it's a it's a really special thing. But I'm driving down here in the evenings to come to rehearsals. It's not I'm not just going into a room to get behind a drum kit and play with these guys. But I come in here. I have to, we have to pass friends altar every time we come in here and there's always an offering there there's always a candle going or, or a couple of candles here and he's got all these little little icons and he's got his favorite gods up there and it's a it's a very special place to be rehearsed in. and i think it's just goes back to what i was saying it's earlier. A, it's a ritual right there's getting special, together yeah playing the music a, it's like exactly. you guys are doing a, you're doing a ritual yeah. You're, you're honoring the gods. You guys are doing yeah. all. You're you're creating magic as you're yeah. putting together these pieces of music. You're creating magic. You're manifesting what you want, and so it is like your the rehearsal room is sort of like a, your your sacred space. Your one big altar, right? Uh, yeah, and the, the, it's like a total. The, the room focuses the energy. I've been rehearsing in here for for eight months. We've never had a bad practice. There's never been a practice that's gone wrong, and it's. I think it's got to do with the energy in this room, and it's got to do with the energy of the altar and the belief. You know, it's this room is just a really special place. I mean, it's the same as you say, brother. As soon as you found your faith, it, it opened the doors for you, and everything started happening for you. That's exactly what happened with us. And I know that sounds cliche, but it, it, it's what happened. But, yeah, but, it's <laughs> and, not, but it's not because you're creating your reality. So it's not it's not absurd to think that that, that that things may happen similar because we're creating our reality. We knew what we we know what we wanted, and we went for it, and we didn't let nothing stop us. We we just let the universe, the gods, take control and just do our thing, and let, and and that's the, and that's where we, you're having your successes. You're you're not trying to fight it. You're going with the flow. You're just saying, you know what? Speak through us and put it out here in the music, and we'll we'll, we'll create some magic. Yeah. That's it, brother. It's it's our calling, if you want to call it. Again, as cliche as that sounds, I feel like I found a calling. You know, that, that's you have. Uh, oh, you have. It's, it's special, like you know, and I do appreciate it as well. <laughs> you know, the good thing is with uh, things like that, it gives you you've got plenty of inspiration to work off, haven't you? Whether it's whether it's battles, invasion, uh, the gods, the, there's always something that you can write about or the old stories, isn't it? So. Oh, it's a fountain of it's a fountain of stuff. Like I, I mean, I think that's why I write so fast is because I want to write about a specific topic, and I'm like, oh boys, this week I want to write about Valhalla. Next week I want to write about like Sigar, that story from the from the Icelandic saga in particular. And I'm just like, oh, I want to write this about this and the poetic edit. And it's just um, it's just so much. I just <laughs> I wish the days were longer. I wake up in the morning, I'm like, right, let's go. You gotta write. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh, you have to do real, you have to do things outside the real world. I'm like, ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you guys are doing some brilliant stuff. Keep doing what you guys are doing. Honestly, there's there's a few pagan artists that I, I that I I just really really appreciate. One of them's Damn the Bard. Uh. A few artists like that that I just I really really appreciate what they do, what they do because they they've they've broke boundaries with their music like Damn the Bard he's broke he's broke boundaries with his music he's he was able to reach out to mainstream as well and I think you guys are going to excel all the expectations of what you guys think that you guys are set up to do I think you guys are going to be going above and beyond that you guys are destined for great things is there any before we go tonight is there any like Anything you guys got coming up in the near future that you guys want to give a shout out to? Guys, uh, well, we are working on the new album really hard. <laughs> Tales of Ruin, um, Sigurd, um, Dodd Sang, and Fenrir are three singles released off that. This will be our second album with United Music Mafia. Um, those guys, they're, they're based in Florida. And, you know, the, the label is geared towards other styles of music, mainly. Um, that's what's amazing about it. It kind of reminds me of when Lamb of God signed with a, I can't remember who it was, but they were the only metal band on that label and it really worked for them. And 
you know, I've been on other labels. Uh, we've been on um, other labels that we've done so well with, but there's so many other guys um, doing similar things. But when we broke out and was working with United Music Mafia, they've like um, hip hop artists, rap guys, country guys, gospel, and they seem to, ha they've so much going on, but they seem to find so much time to put into, um, you know, and it, it kind of feels like, I don't know, to make you feel special. <laughs> it's like, it's like you guys are um, uh, not really, we're from different worlds, but yet we work so well together, you know? So this will be our second album with them. Um, and I, I actually can't wait, because I think this was going to be our, our best work. Um, it is. I, I don't think I've, I've definitely not worked as hard on that before. You guys always work hard, but I don't think I've worked that hard. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I can't wait. Uh, they're still um we're unsure about the release date yet but we're getting close and we have a couple of really cool videos planned don't we yeah. so we're, we're some, yeah. one of the one in particular is going to be very fun so we won't say <laughs> about it just yet but there might be uh, our favorite drink involved in it so. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun yeah, yeah. we're going to be all full, full viking gear and all that great <laughs> excellent yeah, yeah. So, ah, yeah. I don't think there's anything else really. Um, a couple of gigs coming up, but we'll announce all them shortly and stuff. And, you know, right. we're always busy. <laughs> that you, that you are, that you are. I, I appreciate you guys hanging out with us tonight, sharing space with me and Bob, letting us have some fun, talking about you guys' music and talking about other things as well. I'm mm -hmm. glad. I, I, you, like I said, you guys are a breath of fresh air, and I, we would love to have you guys back on another show at some time. But, just say the word we'll have we'll, we'll make time for you guys to come back on the show again for sure we'd be honored yeah. lads thank you so much brilliant thank you no problem be sure everybody to go check them out on facebook it says right there Rin marabou and the berserkers go check them out here on facebook follow what they do share their stuff out without your support none of this would be possible so you guys getting on these bands pages and sharing their music out and sharing their posts out means so much to bands like Rin and the berserkers it's very very important that you guys do that we we appreciate it that's why we do these shows to bring to bring awareness to these bands like this all bands really all music but this is what we do this is what we this is what we're here for to help spread the music and the love of the music that's it and if you need to find the band it'll be easy enough check out the the show underneath there uh, all this page uh, facebook chat it's in there it's in on the youtube chat as well underneath love faces comments so <laughs> it's, it's all there <laughs> thank you love face yeah. <laughs> well we're going to end tonight's show thank you once again guys for hanging out with us we're going to end tonight's show with your last video that we have here by you guys this is axe in the back and then loki you guys okay. once, again, once again you guys hank thanks for hanging out everybody thanks for hanging out with us tonight be sure to tune in tomorrow same time what same bat time same bat channel we have the band six feet below hanging out with us tomorrow so that should be another great show and then uh sunday on everyday magic i'm having the band called celtic grain on the show we're hanging out with them guys, uh, talking music and all this other good stuff as well. So be sure we got a jam packed weekend as always. So be sure to tune in and hang out with us right here on Inner Demon Media and Radio. We got radio shows as well too, don't we? That's it. We do. On this we side, do. Right? Uh, and and I should I should also say, watch out everybody who uh, up for Sunday because we're going to be bringing out the second edition of the Inner Demon Media Digital Magazine as well. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff coming up this weekend, don't we, Bob? Yeah, going to be a busy time. Ah, I love it. I love it. All right, everybody, thank you for tuning in. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. This Thanks is again, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, with Axe. Get that Axe out of my goddamn back. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys later. See you guys tomorrow. Be safe. Be well out there, everybody. Good luck. Cheers.
Hey guys, this is Sid from Inner Demon Media. I'm just here to remind you guys to be sure to check out our website, innerdemonmedia.com, where you'll be able to find all of our scheduled shows, plus all of our radio shows as well. Shows like The Bob Bones Show, House of Pain, Delinquents Ball, Metal Moose Radio, Paravice City, Metal Old Mania, plus it also has all of our updated scheduling for all of our Facebook shows as well, like Speak of the Devil, Talking with Demons, and Into the Fire. And a whole lot more. Guys, thank you once again for all your support. Be sure to check us out on innerdemonmedia.com.